Well, guys, we might have another Philip Schofield moment or the reports a few months ago about a possible next Jimmy Savile could well be true if this is anything to go by. Because as it stands, the BBC are now neck deep in damage control for yet more degenerate crap we say is part of the culture. But long story short, top BBC scumbag has been paying a crackdown teenager to send him explicit pictures for the past few years, starting when he was 17, it's claimed. Obviously, that makes it illegal if true, but apparently the BBC have known about about this for at least a month or two and only just took the presenter in question off air. Here, listen to the BBC report it earlier and make sure to laugh because you know they all know exactly who it is. A BBC presenter has been accused of paying a teenager for sexually explicit photographs, according to the Sun newspaper. It's understood that the BBC is looking into the allegations. Our media editor, Katie Razzle, has more. These accusations concern serious misconduct by a presenter that the newspaper claims is known to millions. Now, the front page story claims that the man, who hasn't been named, paid a teenager tens of thousands of pounds for sexually explicit images. The mother tells the newspaper the youngster, who is now 20, had gone from happy-go-lucky to a ghost-like crack addict in just three years. The family is reported to have complained to the BBC on May the 19th this year, which leads to questions around what steps the corporation took after the complaint. The family is reported to have become frustrated that the star remained on air. Now, the BBC, in a statement, said it treats any allegations very seriously and takes steps to investigate, including actively trying to speak to those who have contacted them. It says if it gets no reply, that can limit the ability to progress things, but it doesn't stop the inquiries, and that it acts on any new information that comes to light, including from newspapers. We understand that the presenter is not scheduled to appear on air in the coming days. No, sorry, love, it's not serious misconduct. It sounds fucking illegal if you ask me. I mean, paying a 17-year-old for sexually explicit pictures last I heard makes you a nonce, does it not? Oh, and on top of that, the BBC star at least played a part in turning this kid into a bloody crack fiend, according to the kid's own mother. This we have only found out because the BBC left the scumbag on air despite the family complaining about him in May. So had the BBC actually taken him off back then, we might never have heard about this, but as it turns out, we have. Now, this will shock few of you, because let's be honest, we expect it from the BBC, do we not? They protected Jimmy Savile for how long after all and likely hoped they could do the same here. I guess the mother decided no to that and went to the son, who I bet was only too happy to dig up this dirt, and so they bloody should. Taxpayers have been funding his degenerate picture exchange and so have a right to know, I would say. Now, obviously, the question being asked by many will be, who is this guy? And I've got to say, I don't actually know, but the the fact his name is not out there tells me he's got court orders stopping it being released. It could be a radio host or it could be a TV presenter, but they're being called a top star, so that does limit the groomer list a bit. That tells me it's a presenter of a flagship programme, but since I don't actually watch the BBC, I know very few of them to tell you who it could be. They did say he won't be on air for the next few days at least, so I'm sure someone will figure it out soon enough. Either way, though, the BBC are still the BBC, it seems. The scum rots throughout it clearly. Pan the pan the pandemic. We're off!